Welcome to your latest video weather briefing from the National Weather Service office in San Diego. This is Alex Tardy. The topic for this video weather briefing is the moderate Santa Ana wind that is expected for November 16th through 17th. That's Sunday and Monday for this upcoming weekend. This video is about three minutes long. Here's the highlights for this video presentation. The main emphasis is for Sunday and Monday, developing north winds, Santa Ana, across the Cajon Pass in Orange County. That wind will rapidly expand southward Sunday evening and continue for most areas Sunday night through Monday. Also, temperatures will be warming with our warmest weather expected on Monday and Tuesday. We'll start losing the effect of those Santa Ana winds on Tuesday as the high pressure starts to pull off to our east. So we do have significant impact expected in the moderate level because of these winds at the Cajon Pass, Orange County, Santa Ana Range, and also to include San Diego County and the Riverside Mountains. Here's what it looks like for Santa Ana. Basically, you have high pressure over the Great Basin region and winds are forced to go through the mountains. They can't go through them, so they go up and over them or get enhanced as they go through the passes and the gaps. Here's the winds that we're talking about for Sunday morning developing. Most of the wind will occur Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening. You can see the corridor of wind will be along I-15 in the northern regions through the Cajon Pass, but also winds picking up significantly down into Orange County mountain areas east of the 405 and east of the 5. These wind gusts will quickly get into the 40 mile per hour range Sunday afternoon. Our strongest winds are Sunday night through Monday morning. That's where we'll see some wind gusts in those same areas across the north exceeding 60 miles per hour. That includes Orange County and much of the Inland Empire for the region of I-215, I-15, and going through the Cajon Pass. Also notice that winds will be picking up in the Banning Pass and San Gregorio Pass towards Palm Springs, and then developing also in San Diego County you know, across our foothills and mainly impacting the Interstate 8 corridor. Do notice that most of San Diego County coast is not expected to see wind, but parts of Orange County could see wind gusts over 40 miles per hour approaching near the coast. What's the temperatures going to do? Well, for Monday and Tuesday, temperatures will be on the rise. Those temperatures are expected to be well into the 70s, reaching 80 in the warmest locations, as shown here. What's the weather pattern that causes this? Well, we briefly talked about it, but it's basically a weather disturbance going by to our east, so we really don't get any precipitation from these storms. They're cold storms, and they're rather strong, but the impact is the high pressure that quickly builds in over the Great Basin region. That sets off our Santa Ana wind or offshore flow from high to low pressure. And in this case, we see a rather strong gradient that sets up from Salt Lake to the coast, as shown here. And in weather terms, that's about 8 millibars from Salt Lake City all the way down to the San Diego coast. That'll drive our winds and create those locally very strong winds. For the latest hazard information, which includes watches, advisories, and warnings, always check weather.gov San Diego where the latest information will be posted on our web page. We have other information that we'll share on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube as well before the Santa Ana wind and during the Santa Ana wind including peak wing gusts. Thanks for tuning in.